Hello YouTubers, this is Big Green Bone here. Uh, this is my first attempt at a push bike generator. Uh, as you can see I brought a cycle trainer, took all the gobins off, mounted my own electric motor on the back, which I brought off YouTube for 30 quid. It's a 24 volt motor. Uh, I believe it's 300 watts. I uh, took the sprocket off, mounted my own wheel on. Can't really see. But there's, an, uh, there's a big stainless steel wheel on that that runs on the back tyre. And then what I've done is I've made my own control box. This side will display the power in my batteries, 12 volt batteries I'm charging up. The middle one will be the amps going into the batteries and the right hand side one is the volts being produced when it's when I'm cranking it over. I'll show you where the cable goes into. Uh, cable goes into a connection just down here and then what it does cable goes into there then out of there goes into a, a small solar controller there and that goes to my batteries I've got two two ninety six amp batteries down here it's a bit dark but you can just about see them and I'm using that to charge them up when there's no solar or wind looks a bit messy at the moment but there's an inverter there that powers 240 volts LED bulbs and fluorescent bulbs in the house. Right, I'll show you it working then. Going back to my cable, all my cables plug in here on a connector so I can disconnect it when I want. Right, I'll plug them in. Right. As you can see, there's my voltage, that's the voltage in the batteries, and then as I start to pedal, the other gauges will come on, that's the voltage that I'm producing, I try to get that to about 14 volts, or 15 volts many volts as it can really so it puts more in the batteries than there is and the middle one is the amps so the faster I pedal the more volts the more amps I get so if I get it around about 15 volts or more I'm getting about 4 amps average probably a bit more as you can see the battery monitor That indicates that the battery is getting charged, and that's how much is in the batteries at the moment. Paddling on this now, there's a bit of resistance. I believe I'm in top gear. But at the moment, I'll probably keep this one for about 8 10 minutes for. But if not, I'll just crank down my gears so I'm paddling easier. Nice. So I'm still getting around about 2 or 3 amps. The voltage is getting up. And obviously, if I stop. go out because there's no power. That's the power in my batteries so it's gone up a bit. It will drop slowly because all batteries do lose charge on their own. Uh, I'll see how we go with this. Crank it in the top gear. See what we can get it up to. The more you power, 
the more power you pull out, the more resistance you get on the pedals. So you're getting 6 and 7 amps now. Voltage is creeping up. I know what's here, what voltage the solar control will kick out. And if it does that, it'll go easy. So I'm going to try and pedal a bit harder. Gain up three times then. We're getting up to and about 17 volts, 6 amps. Back it back down now. Right here. There's my solar, there's my push power generator. And I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> okay.